Moses instructed Joshua to bring the children of Israel to Shechem, where Mount Gerizim and Mount Ebal come together with a narrow valley between them where Jacob's well was located. Mount Gerizim is a very fruitful mountain. Mount Ebal was a very bald mountain. So Joshua brought the children of Israel here to this very special spot. He had six tribes stand before Mount Gerizim and six tribes stand before Mount Ebal, and he had them to read the covenant blessings and cursings of the law of the Lord. In the valley between these two mountains was Jacob's well. We can see it right down below us. Today, there's a beautiful Greek Orthodox church that has been built above Jacob's well. It's distinguished by its red domed roof. With water in such abundance, why would Jacob dig a well here? When Jacob arrived with his flocks, the springs had already been claimed by the various clans living in the area. Jacob wanted to secure his own water source and dug this well that is 137 feet deep. Jesus was tired from his journey, and he stopped to rest by Jacob's well while his disciples went into town to secure food. John tells us that it was about the sixth hour or noon. While Jesus was resting and waiting for his disciples to return with their provisions, something most unusual took place. When a Samaritan woman came to draw water, Jesus said to her, will you give me a drink? What was this Samaritan woman thinking? Why would she come at noon, the hottest portion of the day, to draw water from a well that was over 130 feet deep?